All right, doing this really quick because I've got a lot to say. Um, my name's Ethan. This is my shin. Um, responding to videos. Uh, about a little bit more about the Yasakoi Festival. Um, Yasakoi, like I was saying, is a large group dance, heavily choreographed, um, usually has a whole bunch of dancers in the front, um, either doing things in unison or doing things in pattern through one another. It's very, very Japanesey. With about, it looks like about two to five dudes with giant flags in the background doing choreographed things with the flags. Um, it was really, really awesome. I really don't know that much about the history of Yasakoi itself. However, um, the Yasakoi Festival in Sasebo is as such. Uh, Sasebo is a navy city that's really kind of come into its own only in recent history, and as a consequence, unlike Nagasaki and some other cities that have been around for a really long time and have a like a local culture, as it were, um, uh, Sasebo doesn't have like a long-standing tradition festival that is local. Right? And so they ended up adopting this Yasakoi festival to be their big annual festival. Um, the big annual festival for Nagasaki, incidentally, is Kunchi. I took a couple of videos of that, and I may end up incorporating that into another video if you're interested. Um, now, Greg, great video. Like your video. Good answers. Um, but, you know, I think that you really have this problem of, uh, you know, you really don't want to expose yourself on that. No, I know exactly what you mean. No razzing necessary. Good stuff. Uh, Uriel slash M. Uh, like your video a lot. Uh, your one-shot video I finally got around to. Um, and uh, it kind of brought back memories of when you interviewed me about Spowo. And before you did the interview, you're like, I don't even, uh, this is a hard, uh, what am I going to, uh, right, you know, um, because, you know, it's it seemed hard. But it wasn't hard and you just did it, you know, kind of like you just did with that no editing video. Good stuff. I like you. Um, now, uh, The Lich. A lot of people in their discussions on the Lich focus exclusively on the very end of the episode. I want to poke at a couple of things throughout it. Um, I I mostly talk about Adventure Time with M and Greg and maybe one or two friends around here, but not to the extent that I you know go in depth about the episodes with uh, with uh, M and Greg. Um, just gotta say the Adventure Time threads on B are surprisingly coherent for B threads. I've been actually quite interested in them. Um, things I would like to poke at are as follows. Um, I think that if we take a look at the premonitory dream as a premonitory dream, while the premonitory dream is happening in front of us on the screen, the foreshadowing that Billy was being taken by the Lich, or sorry, had been taken by the Lich, is pretty obvious. But they had me suckered, so I didn't kind of get that at the outset. Um, things, though, that did poke at me in terms of not making much sense uh, were that Finn goes around stealing gems from princesses while they sleep. When around the Lich, Finn seems to get really stupid. And I think it's been kind of established that in this sense, like in, in with, with not full strength Lich, Lich doesn't have full mind control or any mind control over Finn. Finn, why are you so stupid? Like he's so righteous minded, and yet this action is so hideously wrong just to steal gems from princesses while they sleep. And uh, when stealing the gem from PB, I mean, sure, he asks, but then proceeds to steal it from her, and when he's pushed off of her and accidentally cuts him, she accidentally cuts him with scissors, he's all like, Pfft! and it's just like, dude, do you not see what you're doing right now? I had an issue with that. Uh, second issue, um, when they are outside of the castle, and it's like, it's not Billy, it's the Lich. The bubblegum guard, the bubblegum-headed guard, bubblegum machine-headed guard comes out and zaps Lich in the face, right? And clearly, it has an effect. So why not keep zapping? It's like, no, nah, let's let this little boy who clearly doesn't have a very good grasp of the full situation, yeah, he'll take care of it. He'll take it. No, just keep zapping, what the fuck? You know, um, in terms of my theory about what is upcoming. Um... I've thought about this a lot, uh, largely because a lot of people have been talking about it a lot. Um, I don't think that the Finn and Jake that we're presented with after the zap through the portal are amnesia-fied Finn and Jake. Um, I think that these are that universe's doppelgangers. Um, when I first saw it, I was just like, what? They can't remember anything? But no, no, th these are separate people. I mean, like, the uh, parallel universe's dimensions? 
um, world, a uh, thing that we are presented with by the book dude, voiced by Pendleton as Pendleton, which I love it when he does, um, laid it out fairly clearly that this is going to be a typical parallel dimensions controlled by a central time force situation. Um, they're being called in by mom, either to, to, uh, she's going to let them know that something has happened, or is going to send them off on some sort of doing something escapade, where they're going to come across normal dimension, or at least the one we're familiar with, dimension finishing. Uh, the thing that I keep saying around to make me look smart is, you can see no Z robot Armed Finn in the mirror in the King Worm episode. Is that mirror always like that? Remember that part? <laughs> Apparently he's popped up in the comic books as well, as stated by M. Um, but I don't get the comic books here. I really wish I did. I'd kind of made a deal with M that we were going to get him to send me comic books, but we haven't really set that up yet. Maybe, maybe I'll get on the horn about that, because I do miss the comic books. They're very, very good. Um, my point of interest is, is the resolution to this problem going to be a, a season or an episode? Because if they go through, like M was saying, um, each world and solve problems in each world, this gives the Lich a great opportunity to just go straight to his source and take care of his own stuff. You know, right? Um, it's, unless the Lich is also trapped in random worlds. The Lich seems to have his head on straight about the whole situation, a lot more than Finn and Jake, who don't know anything about it. Anyway, looking forward to seeing how this opens up in the next season. Um, and yeah, that has been my shin. Overtime. I'm sorry.